One thing that comes to my mind is this, um, this mysterious, quite mysterious allure that surrounds the cannabis plant. It's really not a particularly beautiful plant. It is in a way uh, seductive. It kind of draws attention to itself. It's also very versatile. It's a bit of a chameleon. And I think to some extent that also goes for the effect of cannabis. Maybe that's a key to why it draws us in and why we're so fascinated of it and why there's so many images of this not particularly significant plant. So if we go over the, the different effects of it, it can be sedative, it can relieve pain. It's both a medicine and a poison. While other plants, for instance an opiate, a poppy, you're quite sure when it becomes a poison, when, when you kind of uh, get too much of it, it can be deadly. With the cannabis, it, it's more like it, it changes, the effect changes. So maybe when it was before sedative, it now provokes anxiety, the opposite, where it, it enhanced reality. All of a sudden, it, it's, it makes, makes you sluggish. It makes you like you are inside a bubble. Maybe that's why these images have all these different kind of colors. It kind of lends a new face to the plant. And it's not like I kind of designated this as like the, the red one over there. That would be the anxiety provoking effect. And maybe this one up there looks uh, a little bit more like a sedative effect or more like a relaxing effect. I didn't really think about it that way, but it's part of the overall fascination of the plant, which I'm trying to somehow tap into with this series. So um, it's kind of hard to see if they're large or small, if they're a whole bunch or only like two, two plants there. They are a little confusing in that sense. I don't really do much in, in Photoshop. I like to photograph them in such a way that, that they, they more or less look like the image. The judgments are, are very few. And then they kind of uh, open up to different worlds. I think, like I think these two over here, they somehow look a little bit like posters. Here they almost look like palm trees. I think also with this, it's very hard to get a sense of the scale if this is something that is a few meters or 30 centimeters. And maybe these are just associations, things that comes to my mind. This one might even come close to a, a poster you can find in a head shop. So even the images themselves, they also kind of drift into ambiences, drift into kind of looking a little bit like something else, a bit like the plant, and the plant's effect also does. I think the colors, the different kind of colors, the colored light that I put on the, on the plants, kind of, they enhance the plant. They create an enhanced version of the plant. The plant itself will also enhance whatever we put our attention to. And I think there's also a relationship to art that it, it can also have that effect that artwork itself can enhance a subject matter. After we looked at the art, we sort of see things anew. Seeing things in a fresh way also have to do with, with forgetting to some extent. We tend to see things the same way over and over and it gets worse and worse the older we get. And, and cannabis has that effect that it plays with our memory. When we drink a cup of coffee, for a second we forget how coffee tastes. And then we drink coffee and we say, wow, coffee, this is really spectacular. I mean, coffee, it tastes so great. When we look at something after we have looked at artwork, it has this ability to shift our perspectives. The title is Cannabis. It could probably be the many faces of cannabis or the many effects of cannabis, but I just titled it cannabis. Uh, so in that sense, uh, very straightforward. This thing that held so much promise in the, in the 19th century, where, where people thought that, that cannabis could cure cholera, and that prompted all this attention and all these promises, and then they find out that it couldn't. It seems like there's echoes of these stories. They can both be be a healing and a poison. We also have like, like great hopes, or to some extent great hopes for the medical use of, of cannabis. There's also um, kind of a, a hopes for how much revenue governments can get if they legalize it. Astonishing numbers. And that again is a mirror of, for instance, um, 
in colonial India, the English paid great attention to cannabis and how they could tax it. And in reality, why cannabis became unpopular in the 19th century was that it didn't really live up to the hopes we had for it as a medical plant. And why it became so unpopular with the English colonial rulers were that they couldn't really find a way to tax it properly. There was too much smuggling going on. People didn't want to pay tax to the English every time they sold cannabis. And, and that really uh, spurred this myth of, of cannabis belonging to the realm of thieves and thugs. So, so these stories, these great hopes and great hopes for cannabis as a medicine, a great hope for cannabis as an industry, keep on coming back almost like echoes, almost like these different effects of cannabis, like different versions of, of the same, finding a new face or a new front.